one of the messages of Sheila saying, if you don't come kill her, you, an expletive. I didn't sleep in it at all that night. I tossed and turned all night long to know that you are that close. And I'm going to say to a murderer, that's what I'm going to say. You didn't pull the trigger, but you gave him the direction. Today, the woman shot to death inside a Home Depot in Pensacola is being identified as 18 year old Brooklyn Sims. It says the victim and the man now charged with murder used to be a couple. According to an arrest report, 20 year old Keith AG was seen walking down aisle 52 in the Home Depot on Davis Highway Friday. Witnesses say that's when AG exchanged words with a contract worker at the store. The report says he then shot and killed her. The mother accused of helping her son shoot and kill the mother of his child is back in Northwest Florida tonight under lock and key. Sheila AG attended a memorial for 18 year old Brooklyn Sims Monday before being arrested in Alabama Monday night. Sick, sadistic, um, the lowest of the low. That's the reaction of Roxana Roberson after learning Sheila A.G. reportedly told her son Keith to open fire on 18-year-old Brooklyn Sims while she was working at Home Depot in Pensacola last Friday. The Escambia County Sheriff's Office released messages between Sheila and her son, one of the messages of Sheila saying, if you don't come kill her, you, an expletive. The messages were revealed by the Escambia County Sheriff's Office after family members on Monday gathered in Citronelle to hold a balloon release in honor of Sims. You can see Sheila Agee in this video. Roberson says family members already didn't want her there. However, she said no one knew the extent of Agee's alleged role in her cousin's murder. Story. This story is about a troubled 20-year-old man who calls his 50-year-old mother with plans to kill the 18-year-old mother of his 2-year-old daughter. She did not discourage him from killing her. Detectives accused Keith Agee of fatally shooting Brooklyn Sims as she was working on August 11th at a Home Depot in Escambia County, Florida. Watch this video to see what Sheila Agee, Keith's mom, did to find herself arrested in this matter and how she did not save her son. According to the Pensacola News Journal, Keith received news that he had contracted an STD that morning and he blamed this on Brooklyn. Welcome to Backyard Crimes. Hit the subscribe button and bell to be notified of more crime stories. This story takes place in the city of Pensacola, located in Florida's Panhandle. Pensacola is surrounded by 50 plus miles of coastline which includes the Emerald Green Gulf of Mexico waters and crystal clear bay areas. This makes Pensacola the perfect combination of a relaxed beach town and bustling metropolitan center. However, on August 11, 2023, it was a terrifying day for Brooklyn Sims and her co-workers. Brooklyn Dior Sims, 18-year-old mother of 2-year-old Casey, her daughter. Brooklyn is described as a very good mother. Her Facebook page is all about her daughter. Her friends say Casey was her life and that is who she talked about all the time. Brooklyn lived in Alabama but worked for RGIS, a contract company, conducting an inventory at the Home Depot in Pensacola. The way she could make you laugh. She could walk in a room and not say anything and just light up the whole room. I'm going to miss that about her. It's a reason people used to call her my twin. Like, it's not just because we look alike. We act alike, too. Brooklyn was a soft-spoken young lady. She had a smile that would light up a room. Um, she's a daughter. She's a sister. She's a cousin. And most importantly, she's a mother. Because the last time I talked to my sister, she just wanted to be a good mother, raise her daughter. The suspects. Keith Agee, 20 years old, co-parent of Casey, Brooklyn's daughter, accused of domestic violence twice in the past two years but charges were dropped when the alleged victim refused to testify. The victim was not Brooklyn. Keith had been physical with Brooklyn in the past. He worked at AM slash NS Calvert in Mount Vernon, Alabama. Court records show AG was arrested in February on domestic violence charges in Mobile, involving a different woman, but those charges were dismissed in May. Sheila AG, 50, mother of suspect Keith AG. She worked with Brooklyn at RGIS and gave her a ride to work. She had no previous criminal history. She was the grandmother of Brooklyn's daughter. The crime. On Friday, August 11, 2023, around 1.30 p.m., allegedly Keith AG shot Brooklyn Sims while she was working inside a Home Depot store. He entered the store and walked directly to aisle 52, said a few words to Brooklyn and shot at her at least nine times. His bullets grazed two of her co-workers as they ran away. 
The investigation. The investigation revealed that Sims was working for RGIS, a contractor of Home Depot, conducting an inventory at the store when she was killed. Approximately five minutes before her shift ended, Keith Ag approached her, said something to her and then shot her. Two other employees suffered Gray's injuries. The investigation revealed a series of text messages on the day of the murder from Keith Ag and his mother, Sheila Ag, discussing plans to murder Brooklyn. The text messages follow. Keith. She ain't done nothing but cost me money and gave me a bleep. I'm thin to just shoot her. I know I hate that for our daughter, but like I said, I can't take it. I don't give a bleep no more. Sheila. Okay. Sheila. Okay, I'll call you and tell you mother bleeper if you want to go to jail. I'll tell you when we get close, but if you don't come kill her you a mother bleeping blip. Sheila. Don't call nanny and tell her. She will try and talk you out of it. Keith, I ain't even gone tell her why I left. I'll just say I gotta go to the dentist. Sheila, don't even go there. She won't know you left. Don't shoot at my mother bleeping car. I don't want to die. Keith, I'm not. Sheila, wait till I put her out. Keith, I was going to wait till she got out. Sheila, okay. Keith, but that's another thing, if she don't get out that car mama and I have to drag her out or can't, I am going to ask you to step out cause I'm opening the door, and just shooting her. Sheila, as long as you don't shoot me. Sheila, hell, if you getting off work now, I'll give you the address here and you can ride over here, and do it so you don't have to do it in front of your daughter. Keith, send it to me. Sheila, we just in Pensacola. Keith, I'm on the way. Send it. Sheila, hold up. Let me get it. Erase the texts, cause I don't want nobody to know I was texting your stupid ass. Keith, I already deleted mine trust me, I ain't gone say blip about us even talking today. Keith, what's the address? Sheila, I can't wait to get back to that store to give you the address cause you're gonna have to shoot me today. I done told you about cussing me. Keith, all I want is that address mama. I done talked enough. I know what's gonna happen and I'm okay with that. I done already been thinking it through and this the only way for me. I don't know why you so quick to start stuff with me but again must be scared of Brooklyn or something. I don't know. Keith, she gone be on the floor right? Sheila, waiting on you. Keith, I'm saying I'm going to have to find her in the back or something. Sheila, nope. Keith, okay. Keith, stay out my way. Sheila, I am. Keith, lol, man get off my phone all I needed was that address. Leave me alone. Finish your work day. And you is to forgot just me, Keith, so that last thought of her knowing she is bleeped and the regret in her face will be enough to satisfy me, I don't give a bleep what she see when she dead. Yes the bleep she do. How the bleep I'm to pick her up when you're sorry as trying to go gamble or hang in Jackson, and she don't pick up the phone. Keith, nah that ain't even gone fly. She will just die before I let that continue. Sheila, okay, whatever, I don't care. Do what you do. I don't give a bleep, cause I'm going home today not to hell, or to jail. Keith, good for you. Sheila, okay then stop texting me. I'm working. Do whatever you want to do. It don't affect me either bleeping way. The text messages started at 10.30 a.m. and lasted until 12.40 p.m. Police determined that Keith drove from Calvert, Alabama to Pensacola, Florida to carry out this heinous act. Sheila A.G. gave Brooklyn a ride to work that morning and was also supposed to be her ride home. The text messages revealed that Sheila told Keith exactly when and where to find Brooklyn on this fatal day. The police report makes mention of Keith receiving a call from a local medical office before driving to Pensacola and shooting Brooklyn. According to the Pensacola News Journal, Keith received news that he had contracted an STD that morning and allegedly he blamed this on Brooklyn. What actually pushed Keith over the edge that day is still unknown, as Brooklyn's family told one reporter that Brooklyn had not seen Keith since Casey was two months old, and that Sheila, Keith's mom, handled all the visitation and communication pertaining to Casey. The arrest. After the shooting, Keith A.G. called the Pensacola Police Department from a nearby restaurant, the Mellow Mushroom, 
and he surrendered. Keith A.G. is facing a charge of first-degree premeditated murder. He remains in Escambia County Jail on no bond, charged with premeditated first-degree murder and aggravated battery. His next court appearance is scheduled for September the 1st. Deputies say A.G. ran from the store and drove away, but later turned himself in. A.G. is charged with first-degree premeditated murder and aggravated battery. Three days after the murder, detectives arrested Sheila A.G. after she attended a memorial at Davis Park in Citronelle, Alabama. She is facing a charge of principal to first-degree premeditated murder. If a person assists or encourages someone to commit a crime, they can be charged with the same crime as the person who actually commits the crime. The arrest report states Sheila Agee, 50, played a major role in the killing of 18-year-old Brooklyn Sims through her text conversation with her son. A judge denied bond for Sheila Agee. She is in the Escambia County Jail. Her next court appearance is set for September 8. At the hearing, Sheila's lawyer said the text messages were taken out of context. She was ordered not to have any contact with witnesses, victims, or their families. The situation, how Sheila Agee, who allegedly plotted to kill Brooklyn Sims, could attend her balloon release, and hold her granddaughter, as if she too was heartbroken, is incomprehensible. Brooklyn could not have suspected the animosity and contempt Sheila held for her. She saw Sheila as her daughter's grandmother, whom she apparently trusted, but she fell victim to treachery and evil put on her by the Agee family. Sheila had almost three hours to talk Keith out of killing Brooklyn, but she did not. Instead, she made suggestions on how not to kill Brooklyn in front of her daughter. That is the only thoughtful thing she did. In her text messages with her son, Sheila does not show compassion for him either. He was struggling and was obviously in need of professional counseling. Instead, he turned to his mother, who did not give him the assistance he needed, and told him not to tell his grandma because she would tell him not to kill Brooklyn. My sincere condolences go out to Brooklyn's family, friends, and loved ones. If you are the victim of domestic violence, uh, whether you think it's a one-time thing or not, you need to call law enforcement uh, because, again, uh, too often these things escalate and, unfortunately, as we saw on Friday, um, they can escalate to a point where someone's killed. Ladies, if your relationship is rocky with your child's father, stay alert to your surroundings and figure out which family members are supportive and those who are not. You do not have to stay in a domestic abuse situation. Help is available. Contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline. Please subscribe and leave a comment below. We would love to hear from you. I'll see you in the next video.